It's a big part of the brain. It's, it's a predictive engine. So, um, Which allows you to automate incredibly complex tasks like walking yeah. and driving and riding it, a bike. Exactly cetera. right, exactly right. When things are automatized, they go out of the conscious brain. Just like when you're first learning how to ride a bike, um, you know, you're paying a lot of attention to what's going on. After a while, you forget the bike is there. If you look at pieces of music, classical music by Mozart, Beethoven, and others, there's a certain um, automata to it that actually just is the background pleasure. But the trick is flights of fancy, uh, the unexpectedness of it that creates sort of genius music. Well, so what, the, what this is about is the, um, the issue that what we're always seeking is this sweet spot between novelty and familiarity. So if I say, hey, I'm a great composer, I'm gonna write something, and I write something that's all surprise, you're not gonna like it. Because we're seeking things that do not match the model, because that's really important that information. That gives us delight. Is. Yeah, it gives us delight. That happens to be the quality that we experience with it. But And, and what's the role of the part that just makes us feel comfortable? Um, it's because the brain's a predictive engine. If it can't predict anything, it's uh, really gonna be uh, anxious. So, anxious, yeah. yeah, I mean, if suddenly I, you know, turn gravity off, and you know, and then <laughs> the minute later I make light different, and what, you know. Essentially, you've lost yeah. uh, some uh, of your comfort space yeah, exactly. and, and therefore the delight engine is now not only is out of delight it's into sort of hysterics or yeah, something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>